And here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engine ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket supporting a Cygnus spacecraft for the very first time. The Falcon 9 rocket has cleared the tower. Some great views from our tracking team here around Central Florida. Let's listen to the roar of those nine Merlin engines. Vehicles pass through max Q, the point of greatest aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. Minute and a half into the mission now. Coming up as we head into the second minute of the mission, there'll be a number of items happening in quick succession. Main engine cutoff at two minutes and 16 seconds. It'll be followed by stage separation. Then the second engine, second stage engine will start, that Merlin vacuum engine. Two minutes, 33 seconds, we'll see the start of the boost back burn. And then just before the three minute mark, the fairing deployment will begin. Getting some great views from uh, this view from Pete Karstens. Stage separation there on your screen. Boost back burn. Also underway. Some great views from our friend Pete Carson's with Max Q Productions. Coming up on fairing deployment momentarily. with a call out for fairing separation. Those fairings have deployed. You can see them for just a second glinting away from the uh, Falcon 9 second stage. That boost back shot down, call out. A little over three and a half minutes into the flight. As this is a pretty crystal clear day, we've got a great view of that first stage booster. Hypersonic grid fins deploying. We have call outs that everything is following nominal trajectories on this mission. Coming up in the fourth minute of this flight. Coming up at T plus six minutes, 38 seconds will be the first stage entry burn. T plus four minutes, 40 seconds into flight. Seeing 
some great views from Pete Carstens. What you're seeing with those little bursts there as the Falcon 9 first stage booster makes its way back to landing zone one at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station are the cold gas thrusters helping to adjust the attitude of the vehicle as it's heading back down, make sure it's in the right orientation ahead of the first stage entry burn beginning that's coming up now in less than a minute. Now six minutes into flight. Coming up on the start of that entry burn. Now just about 10 seconds away. Should the landing burn begin right about now? There you go. Some great views of that entry burn from Pete Carson's tracking camera. This burn will last just about 17 seconds as you see it coming to a conclusion there. A little over seven minutes into flight. Great views here, continuing on from P. Carson's Max Q Productions. That landing burn said to begin in less than 30 seconds as this booster is making its way back down to landing zone one over at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Just fantastic views here from Pete. Landing burn said to begin in five seconds. And there's the start of that landing burn. And there you can see, and there's the sonic boom. This was the 10th launch, 10th landing. 